Father God, we are truly in awe of you today. We thank you that we can be in a place that reminds us of your power. And we just say yes to all the good things that you are doing in and through this incredible couple. Seeing you in front of me now throws into shot relief the exact extent of my idiocy when I waited a whole four months to make things official. There have been bigger clowns than I perhaps, but it is doubtless that I will be recorded as one of history's most prolific. <laughs> In a self-serving quest for trendy, well-built, breathable socks, I stumbled into you, a girl who was none of those things. It was only a couple of weeks later that I was kept up at night by a nagging sensation that I didn't understand, that there was something different about you. Josh, when I first met you, I knew there was something different about you. I didn't know what it was right away, but I was overwhelmed by the comfort and peace that I felt when I was around you. As time passed, I slowly started learning that what I couldn't quite put into words was a man fully after God's heart. Your heart's biggest desire is for those often overlooked to feel seen and known. Knowing your heart is my greatest joy. I am, I am a fool now, I am a fool now, for you. For sure, you you already know this, you're not marrying a perfect man. My neck beard might grow out. I may always think Chick-fil-A sauce tastes better than a 2011 Chalk Hill Cabernet. <laughs> And I might currently live in your parents' basement. <laughs> but in all my imperfection, if you'll have me, I'll pour out the best of what I have into you, into your passions, and into realizing your dreams. I choose you. I choose to champion you. I choose to be full of compassion, to dive into more and more grace to be slow to anger. I promise to make serving others a cornerstone of our marriage. This marriage will always be about showing people that they matter. Through our differences and through pain, I promise to lean into you always. There's a place for you in my arms. <laughs> On behalf of the Pickle and Cunliffe, families, I want to thank everybody for coming today to celebrate something new that God is doing on planet Earth and bringing together the lives of Corinne Bailey Pickle and Joshua James. So Josh, this is the point at which I'm supposed to give my daughter away but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna release to you the honor of my life. <laughs> From the moment I saw Corinne, I never could have imagined the beautiful, talented, strong, and loving woman that stands before us today. But she did not then belong to me and does not now belong to me, or anybody else for that matter. Because she's my God's creation. She belongs to Him. So Josh, because Corinne has chosen you, and because she's placed herself in your arms, I pass to you the honor of your life and be her everything because she is not your privilege. In the years where winter is 
the only season we walk through, and those were spring welcomes and new life. I choose to lean it to you always. I promise to celebrate your victories, pick you up when you fall, and champion you above myself. I love you, and I promise to resolu resolutely choose love every morning, day, and night. In accordance with the authority given to me by God and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Truly, this, this whole thing has been, I mean, the girl is beyond my wildest dreams, and a wedding like this is beyond my wildest dreams. You all are here, just to be here and just to love on us, like, that's so humbling and it's so awesome, and we're just standing here so overwhelmed. We love you. Thank you so much. Well, Josh and Corinne, this couldn't be a more spectacular day as you truly begin the journey of a lifetime with one another. Josh and Corinne are very mindful of the truth and the reality that every single aspect of today really is about the Lord. I can't seem to harbor reasons for falling down. Josh and Corinne. Today we celebrate God's faithfulness. Corinne, I reflect on the day that you called me after you had met Josh. I was out of the country and you called me to tell me about the most amazing weekend that you had just had. I hung up the phone with you and I said to Dad, I think our daughter just met the man she's going to marry. I'm delicate and I don't know. Corinne, as the Lord gave us Josh, so now we release him to you, to be for you everything God has planned, and we welcome you into our extended family. We already love you.